Friends, fellows, everybody, welcome back to Gondor. We have events unfolding in Mordor. Because we have been encroaching upon their borders for a while, but now we trudge into the heart of the black lands themselves. Boromir and Faramir are treading cautiously through the, the Morgai flats to the plains of Urdruin. Gorgoroth lies before them, and of course, Mount Doom itself. In the way stands, well, a, a couple of Nazgul uh, spawns, but they are not too worrisome. Neither are these, you know, just one turn's worth of recruitment from one of their settlements. And they're also attacking the Black Gate because, I mean, of course they bloody are. We shall hurt them back as ever we have. And we are prepared at Boromir Don should it go down there too. We shall see. We shall see what they do. Anyhow, though. We shall um, soon see what uh, Mordor's reaction will be. So, um, yeah. The author will make his way over. Let's end the turn. Ah. I have really been looking forward to recording uh, this episode because I will submit that there is a non-zero potent chance that we shall capture the Black Citadel of Barad-dûr itself in this episode. Ah. But first, we shall have to defend against Captain Gazrad. He comes with 4,616 soldiers. But, I mean, as one might guess from such high numbers, they are utter trash and garbage. Of course, there's a lot of that trash and garbage, but trash and garbage nonetheless. Um, we have Fountain Guard, we have Athelian Rangers, we've got well-experienced troops, and overall our quality is higher. Of course, we won't be necessarily able to handle wave after wave of this calibre, but um, at least not unassisted. But this one, I am fairly confident that we shall succeed, so let's quickly save it. And yes, breaking their will is indeed a specialty. Because he hated Isildur's city. But you know what? You know what? That goes both ways, Sauron. Uh, your place is rather bleak. Uh, not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. Especially after you installed those drapes. I mean, really. Really. Do you think that in these dark lands you need black drapes as well? I mean, come on. Anyhow. Here we are. And our troops are all facing the wrong way, because that's apparently just what they do. But, um, do 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 do. I think we shall place our rangers on the wall, and, um, I mean, yeah, they're coming from over here in the side, and oh, look at the thousands of buggers that are coming for us today just marching in the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds it's, it's kind of sad that you can't uh, mount these that would be really nice but hey we've got to work with what we have uh, we have that place there so that's gonna be good then the more standard fare in terms of archers will be suited for uh, the ground levels. I think something like that would be good. Yes, indeed. Pick up your bows, countrymen. And then... Yeah, let's just uh, put him over here. That's one team. Boom, boom, boom. Done, dusted. You there. You can be team two. Now, Fountain Guard, do I have a job for you? You shall kind of defend the positions of our archers, both those on the walls and uh, these here, by erecting a lovely, lovely wall of pikes. 
And you shall be bolstered further by... Uh, and for that Pikeman. Then we have uh, Spearman and Territorial Guardsman coming together to form a nice little merry band of Gondor soldiers here. A little spear wall, if you like. Also, please. Let, let, let's um, let's try to guard the positions that we're given, right? Then we have, um, right here, the Benham Marines, and then we have our melee line coming in right here. And you know what? I am going to bring you guys into the front. Yes, I think that looks pretty good, pretty decent. Let's work with that. So, now we shall just have to wait for our enemies to trudge on through the blackness itself, as I am sure they will. We could, of course, try to use our Penneth getting cavalry to kind of distract them. Some of them, maybe. Kinda. Maybe. I don't know. They have to be used for something, right? <laughs> and there's a nice big plane here where we could feasibly do some damage. I mean, of all settlements, I think the Black Gate is probably the one most suited to cavalry combat. Um, so, I am going to try to make use of that. Although one must, of course, be very careful not to ride, uh, ride your um, horsemen into the stakes because they will kill them. They will. I, I, I know for, from experience. I've tried it. So, what do we have here? All hunters being shot to bits. Fine. Fine. Ooh. Those archers are on the run. Well, they're running at least. Um, hmm, let's shoot, oh yes, shoot the orc host please, and then the orc archers that are running toward our cavalry can come to meet our cavalry. I'm sure they will be absolutely hella pleased with that proposition, um, well, kind of at least, oh, ouch, okay, 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 yeah, okay, okay, good charge, good charge folks. Now, of course, this will probably me mean the demise of our Pinnithka and Cavalry, but uh, they shall take a lot with them. Right out! A nigh incomprehensibly large blob of ox makes its way toward the Black Gate. Okay, let's shoot at some um, high value targets like Maulers. Maulers are good. Okay, what do we have there? Moronic Guard. Running like the morons they are. Okay. But where. I wonder. Do we have the general? He must be somewhere around here. Yes, there he is. Right there. Hmm, where's the ram? Oh, it's over there. Orc fighters. Okay, let's prepare to intercept the ram then. We actually have one tower. Which does fire very occasionally. Okay. You know what? Let's try to spread you out. See if we can get everyone to fire at op uh, in an optimal, optimal um, position. Okay. Here we have well, hmm, orc hunters. 
But the moronic guard are catching up, so I'm going to change plans for you guys. Also because you're being shot at, so let's try to minimize the harm of those orc archers. You know what, charge into the side of them, doesn't matter if they have spears if you come in hot. Smash. It's pretty good. Oh, but you didn't like it. Okay, your morale <laughs> took a bit of a beating there. Oh my goodness, that's the most horrendous route I've ever seen. Trying to run through 2,000 orcs. Um, yeah. It's not going to go well for you, sorry. Sorry. You guys are really struggling with the pathfinding, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay. Let's try to shoot the maulers way over there. And you guys shoot the um, maulers way over there. Okay. So our cavalry is gone. Fine. We ended up taking... We've taken 14% of them already. I think that's pretty good. 14% of over 4,000, 4, uh, that is about 600 orcs already, so, yay. I mean, many of them, it must be said, were the enemy are battering down the gates. just as a cause of um, these Ithilian rangers doing their thing. Let's see what happens if we shoot some orc fighters. That might be good. The enemy's ram has breached the gates. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness, goodness me. A ram for you, a ram for me. Okay. Here they come. Here they come. Glitching through the walls like the orcs they are. So they arrive only to find death. Death a lot of arrows. Oh, I am sure they do not like the position they find themselves in. Rangers, get down to the ground. Down to the ground. Find a better vantage point down on the ground. As our archers pummel them. And our rangers are running across the black gate. Starting to see routing, starting to see routing. The general hasn't even died and we've started to see serious routing. When he does, and it is a when, not an if. Well then. They shall run, they shall break, they shall flee. Fifty percent of them gone, that's Army over two thousand orcs. Dead. The Fountain Guard still holding strong, having lost no one yet. But of course, they haven't really faced the most serious of pressure. 
But you can see that whenever someone dares to come close, they will be poked until they fall over. Okay. Rangers. Give those bows a good workout, will you? Now is the time. Almost 60% of them gone. The Anfellas pikemen doing their bit. And doing it rather fabulously, I might add. And there goes the general. I think it might be time for everyone to drop what they're doing and just pummel them with swords. Uh, yeah. Pikes. Out of that formation. Everybody. Let go of the god mode. And to take them on. This is when the battle turns. Seventy five percent, seventy six, seventy seven, seventy eight. Why all the hate? I don't know. But they should not have attacked the Black Gate. The remaining battalions, ever defiant of Gondor's supremacy, seem to think that they can actually, I mean, as they walk through the hundreds of corpses, they must feel the inadequacy of their situation weigh heavy down, heavily down upon them. Victory! Well, almost anyway. Enemies are coming back. Let's form up quickly while we have a little bit of time. And for those pikemen, um, I think you want to be there. That's where you want to be. Our enemies bearing down upon us. Currently being met by a tower, just shooting willingly, but it's not going to do much. What is going to do much though is the lovely. Arrows, we still have firmly in our quivers, and quiver is indeed what our enemies will be doing very soon. Draw your bows, men. Let them know you're there. Here they come.
Hit them, everybody. Hit them with your rhythm sticks. Hit them. Hit them. Hit them slowly. Hit them quick. It is a massacre. We've lost 16% of our forces. And they lose everything. Our tower is still somewhat ill-advisedly shooting at uh, towards the enemy, with the result of probably killing more of ours than the than them. But uh, yeah, anyhow, I think we have accomplished what we needed to here today. The enemy are utterly vanquished. This is a great victory worthy of only the mightiest of generals. Classic Gondor freeze frame. What a lovely, lovely sight. Black Rude Veil Archers, 255, gaining experience. Archer Militia, General's Bodyguard not really doing anything. Well, they caught a few prisoners. Athelian Rangers doing really well. Pinneth Gang Cavalry doing well, yeah. They did okay, I guess. Um, what about the uh, Fountain Guard? Fountain Guard didn't lose a man, but uh, uh, they only took out about 130. Anyhow, I mean, still, that's a pretty good kill death ratio, you know. Um, capturing, killing 130. 137, I believe it was. And losing not a single one. That is, of course, very laudable indeed. Because that kill-to-death ratio is, well, theoretically, or mathematically speaking, infinite. Which is, I suppose, just... Um, very revealing of the fact that sometimes the mathematical ratio does not describe reality in the best way almost accurate way possible. Watch for the enemy. Nah. Another army comes up to try their luck. But, apart from that, Mordor seems to be making no moves at all. And how wonderful it is. Well, they're probably making some moves, or have made some moves, but... Um, mm, not attacking Boromir Don, and not attacking Boromir either. Lorien's under attack. Okay, so they're kind of coalescing in this general area. Sure. I'm gonna stick you. Protect the blood of Numenor. You know what? I'm just going to go and beat up some Narskull. How about that? Um... Hanon, you have a mission. It's called Gelbrin. You move out immediately. And you will take out Zogrum on the way. So we have quite a few things here. Solond becomes a town. Which is very nice because it means that we can now get the Pinnithgal and Cavalry here. Um. Maybe we should get a Master Mason's Hall, though. Just to ease everything else along. Uh, Thoragrondos to practice range. Long Gallon Market. Maybe a Stuart Hall. No, just a little bit. Against corruption. 
which is always nice. Then we can re recruit an extra Amphalus Pikeman unit, and that will help secure the town even more. And apart from that, I guess we just, uh, that burns through our budget for this time. <laughs> uh... Yeah, Anulond, you're just gonna be sieged out. There's no two ways about it. Awaiting your command. Have a taste of my blade. Let's see what happens if we go over here with the Orthon. Now, Meranon. You need to improve your spying capabilities and, uh, oh, you need it to improve your spying capabilities because apparently you don't have any. Oh well. Anyway, Ganaltan. No, okay, Blaknar then. Uh, are you both melee? Yes, you seem to be both melee. Th that means nothing is to ch ch challenge our archer supremacy. Come on, Nazgul! We shall indeed let them have it. Let's form up something like that. Hmm. Then I think the rest is basically just going to be one line. Maybe two. I don't know. Maybe we can. Maybe we should make. These guys one line, and these guys one line. But really, I mean, when it comes down to it, we have such a superiority of numbers that it is almost laughable. Come on, folks, raise your bows and let them know you're there. <laughs> 50, 50 down in one go. Rangers are cool. <laughs> Just taking down the fifth of a battalion in one uh, in one volley from five units at such long distance. That's really good. Okay, now most of you focus on the temple wards. You know what? All of you actually focus on the temple wards. They have lost half their men. And then you, archers, you can focus on the orc band when they get closer and just annihilate them. But the high value archers will focus on the high value wards. Oh my goodness. It isn't Sauron blocking out the sun with our with his clouds. It is Faramir blocking out the sun with arrow fire. Now there's part of me that actually wants to make a complete army that's nothing but Faramir and um and rangers. There's part of me that now thinks that this is cool and that I should absolutely commit to this idea. So, it's gonna happen someday. Maybe not this episode, but uh, I shall work toward that goal quietly in the background of the campaign. Because a full banner army of rangers does sound like something that would be fun. Okay. 
Is it time for us to just run down the remaining of these buggers? Control M for all archers. Handy little thing you can do. And, um, melee forces, move out and take them out. They need to fall swiftly, please. Okay, now the, a new enemy closes upon us. And we shall need to fire back at them. Very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Fire mostly though. At the Blumen Temple Ward. Coming in once again to give us grief. Only half the enemy force remains. Oh, these temple wards and their infinite armor stats almost. Oh, some spearmen try to strike out at the orc band. Hmm, sure. Okay, the Archer Militia is done. And one Narskul falls. You know what? You guys, you need to take out the Temple Wards over there. That's probably the biggest threat on the field right now. Okay. Everybody, stop it. Stop what you're doing. Rangers, pull back. Let. Ah, uh, you weren't quick enough for me. Come on, get out of there. That's not your battle. Boromir will take it from here. Twenty-eight. Twenty-six. But I can have fallen and now now Ganaltan will have to die too. Well die again, you know. Die on yet another day. Where is he even? Where is that hooded son of a gun? Yeah, that's him. Right there. Obfuscated slightly by the helmets of the wardens, but uh He's right there. Being hacked at by so many 
Gondor soldiers that I cannot even count them. Let's give them a boost. Yell at them, Faramir. Yell at them, Boromir. I'm sure it will work this time. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. What do you mean uh, in our favor? With 100% of the enemy killed and 1% of ours? Can that truly be in our favor? Well, I suppose it surely can, but... Um, it doesn't really seem worth pointing out now, does it? It's not exactly an intelligence report. That would require there to be something new in there to learn. And I abhor the thought of anyone considering our victory to be a shocking turn of events with this kind of battle development. Come on, speed it up and get him over with. Knock him on the head. Kill him in his bed. Oh, he's trying to run, is he? Is he trying to get away? I think that is indeed what I am seeing. Come on. Ugh. What? Uh. Where is the bugger? There he is, and he's down. Excellent. Slightly glitchy, but a very excellent victory. Hmm. Ithilian Rangers taking the cake. Because, of course, they did. But the Marching Militia got some experience. That's nice. You know, getting the rookies a little bit of love. And with that, I think this army shall simply just proceed toward Baradur. And then Mordor must decide on their next course of action. Will they try to save their bleak and b dark fortress? Or will they try to counterattack and lose their forces? As well as their capital? Well, the choice is clear, doesn't, doesn't it seem so, friends? I think... Well, it is the one thing I've learned, and it is that you should never assume on the behalf of an AI that competence is the order of the day. We shall remember this day. Let's say hello to Mount Doom, shall we? Marchmen. Hello, Mounty. Now, of course, it will be interesting to see how they react to Yorthan suddenly showing up. <laughs> um, my guess is that they will attack him with full force instead of focusing on Boromir. But, you know, I've been wrong before. What we could do... It's just, you know... Send a small token of a, of an army. As you 
Goody goody. I think that's fine. Um. <laughs> Hello, Guidor. Without question. Hello, Dunland. Yes. As you wish. Tomorrow's journey plan. At your service. As you command. I'll continue once I have rested. Yeah, you're just going to go straight for Hobbiton. Or maybe not Hobbiton. Maybe just this one in uh, Longbottom region, I think it is. And uh, you shall go for Bree. I guess. Yeah, that sounds reasonable, doesn't it? It's right there. Right there on that hill thing. Um, goody, goody, goody. And what else do we have to move? Hanon, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So, um, yeah. Well, Pelagia soon needs a few new buildings, like a Mason skill house. So let's put that in the pipeline, shall we? Anyhow, next turn, everybody. Next turn. Hello, Rowan. What can I do for you today? Bribery, eh? Blimey. Don't think that, that of you, old fella. Ah. And now comes Mordor's turn, obviously. I expect to be attacked. <laughs> Captain Mazur. With a force that Yorthan could probably take on his own. Excellent. Well, let's just get it done then. I'm gonna say it quickly and... Yes, we are indeed gonna let them know further. So since they've come at us, we might as well make, uh, make for the hills. And just get our troops as close to that as possible. Right. Good. Run over here. Run over here. And there's kind of a ridge thing here. So this is where I'm going to put my archers. Yeah. That looks mighty good. I'll move it here. It can be really hard to tell the elevation in Mordor. But... Or the exact elevation in Mordor, I should say. But I think that's pretty good. Yorthon, you're going to be running over to the side of the hill. And we're going to speed it up. The tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. Ah, you put too little faith in the Orthon and his formidable cavalry bodyguard. Good. Okay. So, do 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 do. Okay. First order of the day is to take out. That fellow there. Archers, yeah, you can just shoot at them for a while. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fun, it's never gonna go out of style. Boom! <laughs> Orc rabble. 
so woefully inadequate. Okay. And now you're going to target the melee units and we are going to charge into the archers. Do, 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 do. Oh, we lost one. Oh my goodness, how will we ever recover? Well, I'll tell you how. Revenge! And... Oh, hello. That's interesting. Smash! No, smash! And... Prepare to smash! And smash. And smash. And smash. Just smashing our way to victory. Okay. Let's capture enough to uh, make the army void. Yeah, I think that should do it. Just a few more to be sure. Good. Our foe is totally <laughs> vanquished. Let all who remember this mm. day remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. Even the territorial guardsmen did well on this one. <laughs> so I think maybe Yorthon's destiny is just to be this small little rogue force within enemy territory who will just distract the enemy's smaller for um, armies only to turn around and slay them where they stand. Watch for the enemy. Goodbye. Oh, they do go for Boromir with as much as they can throw. Okay, okay, okay. I'll bite. You come at me with thousands. Thousands of... Thousands of garbage. That's how I'm going to put that. Thousands of garbage. Utter, utter bollocks. But an army is also making its way toward the Black Gate once again. They do not like the Moranon being in enemy hands, which I can understand. Hmm. Either this hill, or, or just this one. No, um, I think this one would be fine. Nah, no, I'm gonna go for this one. This has the more dramatic uh, slope. And we all like a good dramatic slope now, don't we? Um, this time... I'm going to put the rangers in the back, the archer militia in front. Um, gonna put these guys here, and uh, what am I doing? Like that, and then the heavy guys. Like this. We're going to see what they do. <laughs> Please run. And um, then... Here's the. Is this the. This is. Okay. Second largest, and this is the smallest. 
And then the big one. Coming at us kind of piecemeal, which we shall absolutely use to our advantage. So, um, infantry, you're going to go over here on the flank and support over there. And wardens, you're going to be going on the right, supporting everyone over here. I think it's going to be so fabulous. Let's make sure to shoot units that are not orc banned, please. Almost any unit is a better pick for your precious, precious arrows. Let's just uh, focus down the maulers initially. And um, see where we go from there. Ow, 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 ow. That's a lot of dead maulers. Oh damn it, my ranger line isn't completely straight. Now I'm gonna hate myself forever. Uh, oh dear. Well, what do we have here? Orc scouts? There. Not concerned. Um, orc coast, orc raiders, orc coast, ah, orc maulers. Yeah, let's go for the maulers. Let's go for the maulers. Let's go for the maulers when we find them. Oh, that <laughs> thirty left. Oh my goodness. You rangers, you're too good for your own good, you know that? <laughs> oh, <you> just <laughs> I swear there were 190 just a minute ago and now there's 30 left. Oh my goodness. Um Shoot those maulers then. And uh you guys shoot uh these maulers please uh marangard marangard maulers maulers okay shoot the maulers uh the ones furthest to field please <laughs> our wardens are just shrugging off their arrows just uh huh are they shooting didn't notice Hmm. Okay. Let's move you like that. That's interesting. That's an interesting troop movement. Not sure the goal, but uh, I guess they can do what they like. More daughter free country after all. Okay, okay. So apparently they just they want their archers to be killed by wardens of the White Tower. An amiable situation. I shall do my best to um, live up to. We are the elite forces of Gondor. Soldiers of Gondor. Yes. Shooting the molars, shooting them to bits, shooting the molars. Every arrow hits. Well, almost every arrow hits. Um, the archers don't like being chased. 
but they'll, they're just going to have to live with it, you know? Yeah. Let's get you straight into the fray. Boromir engages them and you finish them, please. Oh my god, Boromir lost a man. Call off the assault, everybody. Boromir lost a single man. This is clearly an army too good for us to fight. Uh, oh, okay, the numbers look good. Okay. Only half the enemy force remains. Yell at our troops, Faramir. I know it's going to work this time. Oh, routing is starting to uh, occur among the enemy lines. Oh, that's not going to help things for them. And here come a bunch of enemies, mostly archers, for, for interestingly enough. Um, you know what, I'm going to put some pressure on them. Infantry, move on the enemy. Oh my goodness, they don't like losing their general, do they? Nope, they're basically gone in terms of morale. Probably not going to catch all of them, but I don't think we need to, to be fair. They just... As long as we win this battle, comfortably, then I'll be happy. And yeah, you can just act as meat shields for our Australian Rangers, <laughs> that's fine with me. Um, okay, uh, let's move you a bit further behind because you're getting shot quite severely. And, uh, da, da, da. yes, okay. And, uh, from here, go in behind everyone. Do your thing. Sad to lose so many rangers, but, uh, you know, them's the brakes. Yes, we're engaging the Moran Guard and their archers, but um, we shall need to do more, apparently. Okay. Our Gondor infantry have proved them, proven themselves to be very successful. Uh, let's move our troops over to assist our militia over here. And hello there, Moran and Guard! Hmm. Are you ready to be crushed underfoot by a thousand Gondor soldiers? Okie dokie. Let's shoot those buggers. They're killing our troops and we cannot have it. Oh, there goes another general of theirs. Another general of theirs. The arrows are almost hitting as many of their own as they are of ours. They truly are pathetic in terms of accuracy. Well, we can see even from such a great range, our Thillian Rangers are stellar. 60% of them gone. Quite cool. Okay. Let's also give some love to this uh, region over here. We need to do a full bombing of these buggers. Bomb the buggers. The enemy general abandons his men. Oh, two generals dead, one general fleeing. Okay, you guys need to move over there. There's an orc host that needs doing. Gondor militia. I know you're tired, but um, everybody's tired now. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Only half the enemy force remains. 
Oh, hello, there's a march. It's just walking into your arms. Make sure to greet them with love. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, uh, I, I mean steel. Greet them with steel. He's gone to militia. Uh, everybody's just fleeing. Oh, some scouts are just retreating. Okay, okay. Let's run after the scouts then. So, uh, now I have to ask the question, who is still standing? Oh, is, is it because their armies are just fleeing? Fleeing the field voluntarily? They are withdrawing calmly, orderly, annoyingly, because it means that I can't necessarily end the battle? The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. I th bet you that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they are. They are just fleeing. Withdrawing from the field like the cowards they are. But hey, we'll get a few of them on their way out. How's that? Just a few. We will smash the enemy. By all accounts, we already have. There we go. The enemy are utterly vanquished. This is a great victory worthy of only the mightiest of generals. Hmm. The name Rangers, of course. Wardens of the White Tower. Wardens of the White Tower, but yeah, Ethereum Rangers. Do -do 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 -do. Truly doing a lot of killing. He has an enemy quite beyond the powers of all the dwarves put together. But not beyond Gondor. Gondor rises again. Ah. And so... Another crushing defeat for the Dark Lord. Ah. We shall indeed remember this day. Sure, that's what I want, I guess. Maybe. Hmm. 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 Your orders. Yes. Yeah. Stopping here. Should we say hello to the Anduin, maybe? Tomorrow's journey planned out. Oh my goodness. What construction projects are these that are stalling? Mm, hello, Humgrat. Mr. Skilliath, Maze of Towers, good, good, good. Okay, Pelagius. Ah, that's the one. Okay. Right, right. Yes, yes, protect the blood of Numenor indeed. Okie dokie. Um, besiege. Oh my goodness gracious me. Looks like this is where they were, flee they were fleeing to, so. 
Uh, yeah, let's just uh, continue moving Eorthon toward your lovely, lovely arms. Him making it on the next turn is very good to me. Then, maybe these should just go back to Boromirthon actually. They'll probably get attacked, but uh, anyhow, don't care much. This is where it's at, folks. This is where the party is just getting started. Um, Captain General Boromir and the Orthon the Fearless. Fighting against the odds. Certainly fighting against superior numbers. I mean, we need to preserve. Oh my goodness, we're drawing out the Witch King of Angmar. Oh, I'm actually not too sure about that one. I mean, not his troops, but the Witch King himself. I suppose we can try to shoot him into oblivion and then uh, kneecap him with our Gondor Spearmen. That should probably be the best bet. And if not, then our Wardens will have to step in. Either way, we're going to have to over... If, if we manage to uh, really just... Really just get the better of him, then we have a really good shot at taking Baradur... Just by drawing them out. So I am going to take this. I am absolutely going to take this. So let's start by saving it. And let's go to battle. The battle for Baradur begins. The Witch King of Angmar against Captain General Boromir the Defender. Although it must be said, he really is quite offensive about uh, at, at this point. In the campaign. Quite aggressive. Quite offensive. Oh, and a hill. A nice hill at that. Hmm. 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 One would almost consider the game partially biased towards our success. But, um... Let's put you there. Let's put you there. <laughs> Something like that, and then we can have our territorial guardsmen on the sides. The enemy have brought up more men. Right. They've chosen to spawn on that bloody hill of theirs. Over here. Can, uh, okay. This is going to be an annoying battle then. I was kind of hoping that we could catch the, the small army out. But no such luck. I'm afraid. So we shall have to go that one. We shall have to go the distance on that one. Hmm. If it does mean that we can do a little bit of redeployment. Okay. So, I'm going to take all these guys, put them like this. And I'm going to take you guys, and I'm going to put you like that and I'm gonna take you guys and I'm gonna put you like that now do they actually move toward us because that would be interesting too 
Don't think they necessarily would. I mean, we're facing up against the Witch King of Angmar here. You'd think he would, th um, that he would actually make some relatively decent tactical decisions. Spearman, I'm going to send you out there with them. All archers. Okay, that's interesting. They're coming into range. Yeah. And there come... The bloody... Blumen... Temple Knights. We need to pull back. Right now. Start shooting. Pummel them. Grind them into the dirt. Okay. You thirty six. Move on those orc archers, please. Okay, we've actually taken out a fair chunk of those Temple Knights already. Every one of them that goes down is a bit of a victory for our side. So, let's start moving back. Um, over... No, over here. Well, oh. what on earth have I just told you to do? Go over there, please. This is interesting. Okay, okay, okay. That's... Uh, okay, they're stopping. Giving us a moment to fire upon them. Which is very nice of them. Okay. Orc hunters. Sure, let's just shoot whatever we can. And whatever makes good tactical sense. I think we should move you over there. Temple Knights, please. Thirty-nine Temple Knights left. And there's the Witch King himself. Boromir, we're going to need you over there. Conduct yourself accordingly. This will go down as the most important battle to date. I shall need all of your attention to be sharp. Oh my goodness, there are a lot of archers in that army. 
That's a guard, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh dear. Charging at us. Wardens. You know what to do. Bottom here. You know what to do about those fighters, I believe. Total Gosman. Run at them. We continue like this, we will smash the enemy. What? Defeat seems certain. Come on. Give him a good thwack. I think we can win this, but it is going to be close. A lot closer than any of the other major battles we've seen lately. That's one general down. It's pretty cool. We are the elite forces of Gondor. Okay, archers, you'll be needed. Come on, fill those goddamn temple knights, please. Bromir, how are you doing? A little bit worse for the wear, but you've held excellently against far superior numbers. So much of their army has been destroyed now. I don't see any way back for them. Not from this. Charge into the band over there. They will not appreciate it and that is exactly what we're after. A token of non-appreciation from the Orc Hordes, please. Our men have fought long and are becoming tired. Now it does seem that the Witch King is keeping the lid on his forces pretty well. They don't just break and run away like most usually do. Now the Witch King... He's got it covered when it comes to morale. Go on, follow him. Oh. 
what are we there? He's... Ah, okay. We kind of broke his charge there. That's pretty nice. Allowing the Wardens of the White Tower to catch up. You wait there. Let's get you committed to combat. Specifically to combat the enemies over there. Those tutorial guardsmen have done an excellent job. You should help them do it justice and help them finish it. That's another general down. A bit of a general downer, if you will. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. All cultures over there. Put them down, please. Ooh, that's interesting. It's going to take a good long while to hack him down, but hack him down, nonetheless, we must. Wardens. Got no, 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 mmm. Okay, he's turning around, he's turning around. Go on! Go on! You got this! Thirteen attack, come on. Make him feel it. Okay, he's got seventeen armor and a ludicrous amount of hit points because of his uh, personal buffs, but still. Give him what for, at least for part of it. Once again, running away. Ooh. Trying to reach new targets and... Uh, okay. Well, good news. He's going straight into the arms of a spearman. Which might not be where he wants to be. Which might not, yeah, which might not be where he wants to be. Ah, that sentence did make sense. For some reason my head momentarily thought it did not, but it actually did make grammatical sense. Anyhow, defensive stance. Gondor Spearman, how are you doing against the ultimate evil? I mean, he's bloodied, but he's been for a while. And that doesn't stop him from annoying me. He likes charging into the Gondor infantry for some reason. 
pretty sure I'll keep finding stiff resistance wherever he comes. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Ooh, is that uh no no he still has some orcs left over there. Hmm. Come on, just die already. You prick. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. There he is. Not really liking the situation, I suppose, but that would explain why he is suddenly fleeing and fleeing and fleeing. But now, caught by Gondor Spearman and Territorial Guardsmen, he may not have anywhere to run anymore. Where did, did he go? Oh my goodness. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, who are you being shot? Oh the Temple Marksman. But that at least did it for the Witch King. Okie dokie. Oh, I think they're trying to retreat. Which is annoying because then they'll just go back into Baradur and we can't claim it. And oh my goodness me. But still. We took out most of their army. And the Witch King himself. Okay. Good. Let's surround them. Because no one likes being surrounded. The Witch King of Angmar. Yes! Zagar is down. And the last of his minions goes down too. Our foe is utterly vanquished. Let all who remember this day remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. Now this was a pretty damn hard fought battle. Again, Athenian Rangers, Wardens of the White Tower. Although this, this one didn't take out as many, but that was because they were focused on the Witch King for the most of the time. Which was very, very darn important. To get his Temple Knights down to a manageable level, which I think they really helped do. But of course, that's not really what brings home the numbers, so to speak. But still, very much appreciated.
Now, I think this is where I am going to see if I can end this episode. It might end with me besieging Baradur. Let's see, though. Yes, it does. Ah, oh, 63 orc hunters made it back. Well, well. Next turn, Yorthon will join the army. Ooh, Red Angels in Eastern Skiddyath. I'll take those. Next time. <laughs> Pinneth Gallen Cavalry. Nice. Now we shall see what uh, Humgrat does, whether he continues unabated towards the back gate or whether he actually decides to uh, do something useful with his time and try to defend the, his capital. Regardless of his choice, we shall see next time around because this has been a long episode, a long fight through Mordor and facing off against our greatest adversary. But next turn, Baradur shall come crashing down. I hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful time with me in Middle-earth. I certainly have had a lovely one this evening. Be good to yourself, Captain Turtle Waffle, considerably. Ow.